Okay, so for this little tutorial, um, I'm gonna touch a topic that was asked in a, a Glowforge group. The example I'm using here is not really fit for Glowforge because it's too much colors. But um, the question was, how can I make make an image fit into a shape? It's if if it be a circle or in this case a rounded board, a rounded square, rectangle. So first, uh, I'm gonna take two approaches. The first one uh, is really simple. It um, just puts uh, the box on the right place. I have grouped the image that I, I just made, it's a simple image, and I'm gonna put this in the rectangle. So I select the object, I select shift, select two objects. So I have two objects selected, my group that I want to clip and the thing that I want to put it in. And I go to object, so we have clip and mask. Those are two separate things that are quite similar. So I'm gonna set clip and this is what you get. So this is a really easy result. The thing is, in the image, the whole picture is still hidden. Um, the SVG spec uh, supports this. I haven't tried if Glowforge supports this. So I don't know if, if this will work to, to cut. A different approach, this is a bit more work is that you um, ungroup your original object. I'm gonna, and now I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna duplicate this one, Control D is duplicate. And I'm gonna select my duplicate and just everything that touches the border. I'm gonna say path intersection. And now it hides this, so let's select this one. Uh, sorry, first make a duplicate again, Control D, Shift Select. So I have two objects, Path, uh, Intersection, and these stars I'm just going to delete because I don't need them anyway. I can cheat a little bit if I want to, of course. If I want to keep it, I'm just doing the same, Control D. And after a while, you'll discover there's actually a, a quick control star. If you do this, so I'm going to try this. I'm going to duplicate it again, control D and shift select, control star, and it works as asterisk or star. And I'm going to delete all the excess here. So now again, control D for duplicate, control star, duplicate, control star. And now if I want to get rid of my border, of course, I can just remove it or undo, control duplicate, control star, control duplicate, control star. I think we're almost there. Yeah. And this way, so now if you want to get rid of this one, just get rid of it and you have your sh your shape as you wanted it. Um, so two approaches, this one, hey, where are you? I deleted it apparently. Okay. So the one where you can just put it in a clip and you can have where you have you, you, you um, use the path uh, intersection approach. If this contains a font, for example, you want to say Happy Father's Day, if that's today. Just take a, f a fancy font here. Don't mind the colors, it's not the most aesthetic thing I, I, I've been making. And it's like a little bit outside. You'll see uh, if you, oh, oh dear, I'll just cut this, undo until I have my shape back. Oh, 
of K, paste it again, paste it to this place. And now imagine I want to get this out of the way too. This won't work because if I do path intersection, ah, it messes up. Okay, it won't work. work. It con you'll have to convert your text to a path, but apparently it does, does this automatically. In the past, it, it didn't do this. So this is the way to easily do this. Um, best of luck. And for all the daddies out there, happy Father's Day. Bye.